but last time there was a race here, we also had another match that ended with a default win. So we're going to go to the bucket real quick. Mm -hmm. Now, the thing that happened with Colopro and Moo, they were going to face against each other in Goofy's Funhouse, which would have been hilarious, by the way. However, Moo, in his infinite wisdom, decided to stay up for 72 hours and study, 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 revise. And he just crashed out and fell asleep when he was supposed to be racing. Yeah, he so, overdone it. He overstudied. Yeah. This yeah. Is well, at least I hope he he gets good marks at least. Yeah, we're hoping for the best. But seriously, we are pros at this. Maybe at speed running, but we're also pros at our classes as well. When you're studying, take regular breaks. Yeah, and fucking sleep, idiot. <laughs> well, either way, Colapro got a default win not only there, but in two losers round two. And as we said earlier, Katoti had been knocked out early, so that means Colapro also got a free pass into losers round three. <laughs> Meaning... <laughs> I can't believe this. Well, whoever loses between me and Skelet today will end up facing Lizard in, L in a LR2. And whoever wins between Lizard and whoever loses between me and Skelet will go on to face Cola in LR3. Yep. So that's the state of things right now. In fact, let's go towards the race itself. TK, countdown? Yes, if you both are ready. Yep. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Alright then, so since I cannot see a thing on skelet screen, all I can really do is describe what's going on on mine. Yeah, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Maybe this would also give him a bit of a guide as to how far along he's going. Also, it's good practice for Frost for Tiles, even though I'll be running two very different games. So the thing with the vault Tech is Triangle. Regent's Park is your shortest level to get your 100% your puppy rate, or your six puppies in the level. So a quick turn right at the uh, at the first hill, and then get night in the maze, and then you immediately what do you mean turn right, turn left even, and then you go right onto the puppy near the bandstand. That's perfectly good. One of the extremely uh, fastest levels for Bingo. In fact, uh, so fast it's also on a few levels that have a all bones in level requirement. I think this and Piccadilly are the only ones, if I'm not mistaken. There's also one underneath the waterfall. Then you go down the waterfall to get the box over here. To the left. As I mentioned to Skelet earlier, the puppy that is behind the gate, right at the bottom of the hill, can only get opened if you... Whoops. If you bark at the Cruella car near the flowers. Or if you spit into it. Either method is fine, as long as the car blows up. And then you bash the box. And then there's also the puppy right at the EOL. Nice job. And that's how you get all six puppies here in Regent's Park. Did we lose Skelet at some point? Yeah. Yep. Uh, are you still racing? I'm still in. Nice. Good. He's still in. That's fine. That's the main thing, that's what we want to see. So Toy Store, the first box is immediately to your left as you start the level. So, a quick one to get right out of the way. Now there are six puppies here in Toy Store, two of them are stupid slow and require stupid mini games to get access to. So instead, when you get into the second room you make the hard turn left, look for a trampoline when you get to the jungle room, box up the top. And when you get that, you head into the other door that leads you to the space room. There's a trampoline off to the right on entry, which you bounce up. Bounce up, bounce up! Third time's a charm, I guess. Break the box near the rocket. That's my three in there so far. Take the elevator down towards the warehouse. Uh -huh. And then when over here, that also means a whole lot of climbing on more trampolines to get to the top of the storage. We reach the box right up on this ledge. Nice, the... selection is good tutorial. 
Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Like I said, this is gonna be feeling feel like a uh, practice for Phosphor Tales in March. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, that was an interesting way to get the stick. If I didn't even get the stick, I normally would end up getting it while getting up the slopes. Ah, I hit the memory card. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, there you are. Now, I know that TK was trying to figure out strategies for Piccadilly. And he was saying that he wouldn't really get the six there, but... Yeah, I won't get is, six there. Well, this is actually part of my path that I think I do, because I couldn't really figure out uh, what other puppies that I would need. Well, I mean, I know you mentioned getting six in Royal Museum, but uh, some of them are way out the way in uh, Royal Museum, and I'm not going to bother, especially the one in the inner workings of the pyramid. So anyway, the first puppy in Piccadilly is right across from Nelson's column. It's not really out of the way. Yeah. I well, think Piccadilly is ones are, are uh, even more out of the way. Okay, so inside the building and to the right, there's the checkpoint, and then right across the other side is another box. And then when you go back outside, you just... Uh, just get over the barrier. Nice. Wonderful. I don't know if you have to talk to the squirrel to activate the mini game, but there you go. Now, sir, now with these shapes, you uh, press circle in order of. Huh? What happened here? I got four screens now. Nice. Because I'm the one who's only streaming. <laughs> uh, bark in order of sizes, so triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, and then you get access to the puppy at the top. It's a very speedy mini game, which is why I'm fine with doing that. Don't bother with Horace, just cut across the green. Now this is the most dreaded box for me because this is the one that is right at the top of the canopies, around the roundabout. Main thing is I got on top of the car, and then I used that to get on top of the right hand side. And reach the box there. I know that TK doesn't like that box, and I know this was a pain for me in the roulette that we did earlier. But, um, it's a pretty swift one if you know what you're doing. There's another box on the floor around the roundabout, which is fine to get. A little clown there was blocking the barricade leading into the sewer, which can be used to get to the puppy on the other side. That is all six in Piccadilly. So, as of right now, I have obtained 16. And I'm moving on to Big Ben. Skelet, how's your progress? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! But, it, but it's better than expected, I think. But oh it's still... Gosh. Oh, I don't know. Oh, well, I'd really like to see your screen back to see what kind of... Uh, to, uh, see how things are going, but we'll see what happens in the overlay later. So, Big Ben... An awful one, because you're climbing vertically for most of a level. And it's one that you don't really want to get many puppies because a lot of them are way out of the way. But there are luckily some that are straight on the path. Including one at the... At nearly about halfway up the first climb. Oh, so, that's good. Get past the punching bag there. I would prefer to jump across the pistons because they like to knock me over further down into the pit if things go horribly wrong. So, the second room... There's the stairs in the pendulum. Quite a bit of downtime here because um, I've seen speedrunners switch to domino here by pressing select. That's for the reason that she has like two seconds less dialogue in Cruella 2 itself. Oops, I didn't cross over properly. No, I fell. Oop. Well, gotta keep going. Okay then, I'm back on the pendulum. I'm gonna go back on this one. Like I said, uh, she has two seconds less dialogue in Cruella 2, which is why I feel it's important to use her. You could get the box on top of the pistons, but that requires a very, very strong projectile of a jump. And I'm just not gonna bother- Ugh, I was gonna jump, stupid bat! Again! And I slipped off the piston entirely. That's better! And I- Nope, I've... 
Okay, this is becoming very hilarious. That's how much better grab onto the stairs. So the next room is one big uh, clockwise stairs climb thing. Which again is a source of pain for anyone who ends up falling off. There is a puppy. Me? Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Ah. Are you? I'm, I'm the one. I'm the one falling off all the time. <laughs> Which level are you at, by the way? Uh, Big Ben. You're in Big I Ben think... as well. You're in Big Ben. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, but I missed so many puppies. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. The second puppy I found was halfway up this spiral staircase room thing. Which is good for me. I also do not like these uh, weights that go around. Are they what are they? Bells? Tubes? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know the inner workings of a clock. I really want to understand the mechanics, but there we are. And there's the final room up ahead. This is another one that is like a stairwell and a lift worth of a climb and you gotta stay on the cogs just to make sure that you don't slip. So, I to latch onto the first of the two cogs. Technically there's like four of them, but two of them are horizontal and you're not uh, just sitting into them. Circle to use the lift, get to the puppy at the top. Damage while <laughs> being a puppy. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me before. Crossing over two more vertical, uh, two more horizontal cogs before going on a vertical. Hanging on there carefully, and then through the exit. So Cruella one. Um, we have a habit of throwing fruit at her in her boss fights, and in the case of Corolla 1, you're out on top of the bell tower and you're tossing pineapples at her with these slingshots. And the trick I like using here is that immediately after pelting her, I roll into the bell to stun her in place. But you cannot stun her on the first hit, but can do so on the four remaining ones. Which gives me time to reload more pineapples and keep on shooting her. One of the fastest boss fights in the entire game. So the World Museum, this is also another painful level if you're not too familiar with it. In this case, you're expected to find five items in a uh, set order for uh, Fluffy to pop back together. So the thing here is the first item is in the Jurassic Room with all the dinosaurs. And uh, once I get over the wall, thank you, what you're looking for in here is a coin, which is over there. To the right of that is the first of the puppies that I will rescue here, you saved me. which is right underneath that tree. It's there well again to uh, deliver the coin to the dog. Yes, Fluffy is a dog. I mean, when I started playing this, I didn't know if he was a dog or a cat or a fox. Or anything like that, he just looks strange. So, the next one is the Scarab in the Ancient Egypt... Uh, no, not Ancient Egypt, in the Ancient Greece room. The one with the Acropolis or whatever you want to call it. So, climb up onto the uh, pillars, onto the top of the little uh, temple there. Colourful scab right there. And pass over to the dog, which is, uh, once again, back near the kitchen. Being a dog, of course, you'd want a bone, so that's over in the medieval room. And the medieval room has my second puppy box over here, right in the corner near the door. So, I'll make sure to grab the bone as well. And head on out. Deliver back to Fluffy over there. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. 
So the next item is the crown which is on top of the pyramid but in order to get there you have to go right through the Jurassic room, stay on the balcony, head left, through the door to get on top of the Egypt room and then you take the left side out there because that's where puppy number three is going to be. Pulse Lodge, aka Cola's favorite enemy. Where we go? That's my third puppy there. Circle to activate the the uh, platform over to the pyramid. Zip right off. Wow, speedy exit. <laughs> I've seen speedrunners actually do those kind of strats, by the way. Zip right off the ledges and all of that. Crown delivered. Kitchen. That has the donuts. His final item. I told you he's hungry. My fourth puppy is over here. TK strategy for this level apparently also included the pyramid in inside puppy. And the... Uh, and one in the balcony of injured Egypt, which he apparently feels is much more convenient to get than the two that I got in Piccadilly. And with the donut delivered to uh, Fluffy, I would end up going back into the medieval room, and the door that was near the puppy is now open, meaning I can go in there and get to the end of a level. So that's Royal Museum done. Skelet, uh, did you manage to take notes on to how to complete the Royal Museum? I don't want you to get lost. I'm doing my best. <laughs> well, if you need a reminder on any of the items, let me know. Okay, so the underground. Uh, sometimes it's easier to just uh, uh, turn the electrics at the uh, start, but I just managed to get the clean jump over them to get across the train track. See you later. The first puppy is near the door leading into the sewer. And the second puppy is immediately into the right hand corner after that, after riding a fan. Wow, first time. Lovely. And then I just uh, go through the tunnel heading straight out and then immediately take the first left to go towards the rest of the level. Now, these uh, ledges will not go down until you defeat the enemies associated with them, so bark at the crocodiles and then at the boats to get your position in place. I think TK provides some amazing out-of-bounds skips here, which uh, it still will be on my skill level, but it could end also end up changing my, my plan if things end up uh, going well in the future. But now I just I just did defeat the bear to get access to uh, box number three. The bear with the water pistol sounds like something I would see on British TV back in the day. Mm. I have uh, one hit remaining, so I had to quickly get a hot dog on the way down. Go straight through the sewer whirlpool. The end of the level is off towards the right hand side, but also to the right hand side of the train track though is a gate that you can bark at to get puppy number four. The other two puppies are way out of the way. If you're not too confident with figuring out that one, you could always bark at three enemies in a row to get one of these boxes on top of the pillars here. But because I know about the sewer gates, I'm fine to just skip it. Now TK did mention a carnival strat and a possible way to get some puppies there. But people also need to also know that it is actually faster to get the ELP here. Even uh, in comparison to uh, Regent's Park, so I'm just gonna skip the entire level. Everything's in a lot of the uh, fairground attractions, which I really do not have time for. <laughs> So, at this point I have rescued um, 27 puppies. I need three more in Lumber Mill. What's your progress, Skelet? Um... I don't know how to check. <laughs> well, but I, I'm at the museum and I only got one... No wait, two puppies now. Well, it's okay. Uh, what, <laughs> uh, what kind of... Uh, what items have you got in the Royal Museum? What 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 are you looking for? 
Um, I found the coin, and I found yes. the relic from the ancient Egypt. Oh, wait a minute. And that's uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, the bone is in the medieval area. So my first puppy here in Lumber Mill was after the uh, spinning platforms and barking at the two tractors to get that. Are they tractors or are they diggers? I don't even know. Yeah, I think they're a lot more like diggers to me. So after taking that little left hand side, I'm gonna dare myself get on top of these uh, platforms up high in the boom, uh, the shaft, and get the puppy on top of that. If I ended up missing that, then I could have found a failsafe in the side room that was ahead, but I'm just gonna skip that now. My final puppy is actually going to be around the boxes in the in the uh, conveyor belt room, and in that corner is puppy number thirty for me. Remember, Skelet, the crown is on top of the pyramid. Do you know how to get on top of the pyramid? Um, yeah, but I don't remember seeing a crown. <laughs> well, did did you deliver the bone to Fluffy yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, do that first. And only but then I, I, the I don't even have the bone, so yep. Yeah. yeah. You deliver them one by one to Fluffy. It's tedious, but it's where we're at. Ah, I, d I didn't even know. Uh, thank you. Lol. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can imagine having infinite pocket space for a dog. So, yeah, in the final room, all I need to do is pick up the key to activate the... Uh, the crane to get the log to give me access towards the exit here. I know I've seen some people use uh, damage boost to get up there, but I still need to figure that out. So Cruella 2, this is my worst boss of the entire thing because he got hit to hit these watermelons onto Cruella. And they and they like uh, being able to miss it sometimes. They also have a very slow respawn rate, so if you end up accidentally hitting them while they're respawning, the, the watermelon just breaks. And that's my biggest beef with this. And that watermelon, I was right on target, but it didn't even hit it. Did it just like hit a wrong hitbox or something? And here we go with that again. I am not doing very well with aiming these watermelons. I, I find this the most difficult to do on bingo. I don't know if TK would vouch me for that properly, but there we are. Actually, it's the easiest boss of the game. <laughs> Easier than Cruella 1? Well, I mean, I'm just... The I'm, boss of the game. I'm just a lousy shot then, that's the thing. And that's my GG, but um, I'm also going to go back towards the menu to see where I'm at. GG, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> How far along are you in Royal Museum? Uh, I'm in the kitchen. Is the donut active? Oh, yes. Excellent. I'm glad to hear you managed to get through it. So I'm going to quickly count my end here. So that's three, seven, eleven. 14, 20, 24, 30. No. Yeah, I guess that's really GG then. Yeah. Well, oh, what we're gonna do here when all this is uh, said and done is just edit the footage on top of uh, of the screen that I have to the left hand side. It's unfortunate that uh, Skelet's internet is like this, but hopefully, at least for YouTube, things will be a lot more stable. So, but don't worry, you're not entirely out of the woods just yet, because, uh, like we mentioned, Lizard would be happy to play with something. And, uh, and, and to see what you two could do together. Yes, sir. Yeah. Looking forward to it. 
Mm-hmm. But, yeah, let me know when you're gonna, like, stop or anything. Are you gonna keep going with the goal, or...? Nah, I'm... I'm done. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough. I've had yeah. enough. Okay, then. Well, I guess all we gotta do is just wait on TK to update the standings, and then I'll just move right over. You've done that? Yep. Okay, then. Well... That felt more like practice for Phosphor Tales more than anything, but either way, I'm going to be facing you in the semi-finals. Yeah, which means... DD2 PTSD flashback! <laughs> do you want to do any much? No! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I don't... I mean, uh, as much as it would be nice to go back to one or two Dalmatians, I don't think that'll be necessary. We've already played that at least once between us. Mm -hmm. So we'll do something else. Interesting. Yeah, we'll try and figure things out. Either way, Skelet is going to face Dark Lizard in Losers Round 2. And we'll figure out a time and date for when that ends up happening. Uh, for how much? If you can, we can do tomorrow, maybe. And what time? Uh, maybe around this time tomorrow. Oh yeah! Uh, yeah, that's fine, I can do that. Yeah, if it was anything like an afternoon, then I would have been with my grandfather, and I wouldn't have been able to do that. But yeah, yeah tomorrow I'm evening working as well. Yeah. All is good. But yeah, very quick organization. All, we, all that TK and I have to do is figure out what game to play and how to go about it. Well, that's easy. That's easy. No worries. Yeah. So, yeah, unfortunate that the Twitch side ended up being like this but we'll get things sorted out for the vod don't worry yeah it's fine don't worry yeah but uh yeah thank you so much uh once we get the uh, skelet's video we'll uh, edit this and get this up on uh, yt as soon as possible and we will see <laughs> you for the next match which looks like it's going to be me and tk in the semis so yeah stick a